Welcome to Explore Embed. In this tutorial, we will see how to interface a light emitting diode with 8051. Now, LEDs come in different packages. So, as you can see here, there are various sizes in which LEDs come. So, they could be uh, 5 mm, 3 mm. So, when we refer to size, we refer to the and diameter of the cap so this is a 5 mm LED they also come in SMD packages so these are through hole so these have lids that go into the PCB holes or PCB patch so these are all through holes so LEDs also come in surface mount devices or sir, as surface mount devices and surface mount packages now let us go ahead and look at a basic LED before that let me just tell you so LEDs also come in wide variety of colors so you will find them as green red yellow and whole lot of other colors so they're really fun to work with now let's look at what LED looks like inside so what you could see here is this is a view from the top so you'll see a, a notch on one side so this notch sorry for that so this notch it's called the cathode and uh, so if you look from the sides so there's a bigger lid here and this lid is called the anode and the second one is called cathode now uh, the logic symbol for led so when you, whenever we draw a circuit so the logic symbol would be something like this so this end is positive this end is the negative and the positive in the physical led is the lead which has a slightly higher length so this is positive and this is negative so this is called the anode and this is called the cathode now let's go ahead and see how we can interface an led with the 8051 microcontroller now before we go ahead and do that let us just discuss uh, the limitations of these leds or the current ratings so uh, LEDs usually depending on the type and make they take about 15 to 20 milliamperes of current and so it is recommended to uh, use these LEDs uh, in between 15 to 20 milliamperes so Whenever we power and this LED, it takes about 15 to 20 milliamperes of current. Now, if we look at the 8051 microcontroller, we have various ports on the microcontroller and the maximum output current that the port pins of the 8051 give is, uh, is different for the different ports in fact. So uh, for port uh, zero, so for all the port uh, pins of port 0 uh, it is about 26 milliamperes and for the other ports that is p1 2 and 3 it is about 15 it is 15 milliamperes so what it means is uh, we can uh, directly drive a led from a 8051 port but what we do usually is we limit the current so we limit the current about uh, 10 milliamperes in order to do that and we are already know that the voltage uh, for the port pin is 5 volts so if we want uh, uh, to limit the current to 10 milliamperes so the resistance would be 5 volts divided by 10 milliamperes so this is approximately i mean this is 500 ohms so uh, we do not get a 500 ohm resistor so we use 
470 ohm resistor so what we do is uh, we connect the LED uh, the port pin to a resistor and from the other end of resistor we connect it to the anode of the LED and from the cathode we connect the cathode to the ground of the 8051 microcontroller in the same way you could uh, connect many number of LEDs on the port pins so if we go ahead and uh, see what the circuit would look like so we see that there are eight LEDs connected through current limiting resistors to port 2 of the 8051 microcontroller now you could also observe that apart from these LEDs for the 8051 to work we need a oscillator so oscillator as we have discussed before it provides the pulses so that the controller can run so we have learn megahertz uh, crystal oscillator on the on the circuit so also uh, there needs to be uh, power so mm. we have just shown a connector here so it needs to be powered with 5 volts dc so basically we also require power there's one more important thing so we also require and uh, the reset circuit so uh, in order uh, so 8051 has a reset pin which is active high uh, which means if the reset pin is one the microcontroller resets and if it is zero uh, it operates or executes the code uh, that is there in its flash so uh, we need to tie the reset pin to ground so the reset pin is tied to ground using a 10 kilo ohm resistor and if we want to reset it we need to give it 5 volts so that we have a reset switch between 5 volts and the resistor so whenever we press the reset switch the controller resets so this is now these are the ba this is the basic circuit uh, which is required uh, for the microcontroller uh, to work now in the next section we will see the code to make this particular circuit or these LEDs to blink. All right, so let us look at the code uh, to turn on and off the LEDs connected to the port. Now, the first line of the code includes a header file, register 51. Now, this register 51 dot h it includes all the port definitions for the microcontroller so in the entire series we'll be using 889 s52 or s51 so uh, the register 51 um, dot h it's a header file and it includes the port definitions the special function resistors and all the uh, details of the microcontroller so whenever we write uh, something like p0 in the code so the compiler knows what number uh, or what register we are referring to so all this information is included in register 51.h and the second line you could see is we uh, we have read we have wrote a custom led uh, sorry custom delay routine so this routine generates uh, delays of uh, of microseconds so delay under us generates delay in microseconds so this particular function it, it generates a delay of 10 microseconds for each count that we hear. So on 8051, we cannot do anything less than this. So if we if the input to this function is one, it generates a delay of 10 microseconds. Um, whereas the delay underscore milliseconds 
it generates the exact milliseconds that we uh, gave as input to this function so if we uh, give 10 milliseconds so it generates a delay of 10 milliseconds so what uh, this basically does is uh, so whatever count we give uh, it waits till uh, the count becomes zero and internally you have uh, it calls for a delay underscore microsecond function it gives a value of 112 which when compiled uh, gives a delay of microsecond which we have seen here so similarly there is a delay underscore second function which generates a delay of about one second so we'll turn on and off the led uh, at the rate of one second so uh, you could see uh, from there that we next define a constant as a lady on lady on now you could observe that if we send one to the port the led turns on and if we send zero and the led turns off in this case what we're doing is we are turning on the entire eight bits of the port and we're turning off the entire eight bits so that we can connect to led to any of the port pins and in fact what we do is in the main program so what you could observe is uh, the while one uh, statement what it does is it runs the program continuously as soon as we turn on the microcontroller it starts with this loop and it remains in this loop so what you could see is we have turned on all the port, four ports port 0 to 3 so the LED uh, if LED is connected to any of these ports it will be turned on and then it will remain turn on for a second and then it will turn off and then again uh, it will remain turned off for a second and again it goes back and turns on so in this way it blinks so let's go ahead and uh, flash this code uh, as we know in keel uh, to compile or build uh, the x file you press f7 or click from the menu and uh, we will get a hex file and this hex file is transferred to the microcontroller and as said in the beginning so we will be using 88.9 s52 as the controller in this entire series and we will be using a usb asp based programmer to program the uh, microcontroller